Hey guys, just wanted to do a uh, quick uh, review for you guys on the Warrior X flashlight uh, from Olight. Um, I've already done an unboxing, um, so I'm not going to get into a whole bunch of that right now. Um, I'll just put it at the end of the video, just kind of append the end of this with the unboxing. Uh, I didn't want to publish the unboxing until uh, I'd actually had some chance to use the light and uh, see what I thought of it. So I will put that at the end and uh, let you see that as well. Uh, it's some really nice packaging. I was, I was pretty impressed with that. So I've had this mounted to my AR into the range a few times. Uh, I've got about 300 rounds through it. Uh, I've had it out in the woods, off the AR. Um, of course, these are restricted in Canada, so I can't take them out in the woods. Um, got a fair amount of, of use through this Warrior X. Apologize for the traffic. I'm just outside my on my property here, so just a second dump truck going by. Um, so yeah, this is my Smith and Wesson MMP Sport 2. I've got a Nightcore mount, um, but this mount is made for multiple companies. Jetbeam has the exact same mount with their name on it. Um, I've just used this mount for a while. It, it works pretty good. So I have the Olight Warrior X mounted. I also have the tactical ring on it uh, and the magnetic pressure switch. So. The magnetic pressure switch is RWX is the model number. They have a new model called the RWX07, I think it is. I think because it's like seven inches long instead of 30. Um, my only complaint at all about this whole setup is how long this cable is. And I'll just take it off and show you. I have it wrapped around. So that's it without being extended. And you can extend it out. I mean, really, you could put this back on your grip if you wanted to, but that wouldn't be very comfortable. Um, so I've just been wrapping it around. You know, it's, it's not the best, but uh, the, the switch works good. I don't like how long the cable is. The new cable also comes with a pick rail attachment to actually hold the, uh, the switch, which this one doesn't. So I've just got this one zip tied on I really want the new model of the switch. But anyway, so that's that's it. Neither here nor there, I'll do that. Uh, but when I bought this Warrior X, the original RWX uh, magnetic switch was the only one available. So it's what I ended up with. Um, it works good. So you can press it and it'll turn the light on, let go, it shuts it off. Or if you just tap it, it leaves the light on. Same way the light itself functions. Uh, you can also change the modes on this light uh, to enable a strobe mode, and this will work with that. However you have the light set up, this is going to work the same as the tail switch. But there it is, mounted to the AR. It's a big light, you know. Um, I don't know that it's... Uh, it's definitely adding weight. I mean, we've got probably got the specs on here as far as the weight goes. 7.69 ounces, including the battery, all right? Uh, then you got the tail cap switch and the mount. So, I mean, you're probably uh, eight and a half ounces by the time you're done. It adds up, but uh, it's not that bad. I mean, the AR is pretty light anyway, um, so it really doesn't impede anything. It doesn't make it harder to carry or anything like that, I don't think. It's definitely a uh, worthwhile weight. Um, I do have the Olight M2R Warrior on its way. It was shipped yesterday which has the smaller head on it. Uh, it's 1500 lumens where this is 20 or this is 2000. So I'll be able to do a comparison with those. But uh, yeah, it's worked really well so far. It's super bright. I will roll in some, uh, some footage of shining it on a tree line at night and I've compared it to uh, the 3M Pro by Jetbeam. 
it's another tactical light that I used to have mounted to this AR, uh, and I replaced it with this one. Um, so it's a good comparison. I think it's about a thousand lumens, or I, I don't remember, but you, you'll see in the in the comparison. Um, so I will shine it on a tree line, um, you know, 50, 80 yards away, and be able to show you exactly what uh, what the throw is like, how much spill there is, what's uh, the hot spot, stuff like that. I'll, I'll get that video up here uh, after this portion. All right, guys. So. Uh... It's about one o'clock in the morning right now. I happen to have a late night, so I figured I'd come out and do a little uh, testing on these lights. Um, pardon, there is traffic behind me, so you're gonna hear a little bit of noise, but I am uh, with at least 100 yards, maybe 150 yards from tree line. Uh, the tree line does come closer to me as we get to the left, so uh, I'm gonna be a little bit uh, closer to center of frame or to the right of the frame, which is going to be, uh, like I said, again, 150 yards or so, give or take. Um, I brought out, the closest thing I have is a comparison for the Warrior X, which is the uh, Jetbeam 3M Pro military. So it's uh, 1100 lumens, and I'll just give you a shot of that. It is kind of foggy here right now, but that's how it lights up the tree line. It definitely fades off. You can see some green there. Okay. I'll shut that off. And now I'm going to put the 2000 lumen Warrior X on the same trees. Much brighter. Way brighter. Huge difference there. I will get them both up here in a second. All right, so this is the Jetbeam 3M Pro, and now I'm going to turn on the Olight Warrior X, which just completely washes it out. Nice big hot spot there. There's the Jetbeam, there's the Olight. Again, Jetbeam, Olight. Take away that Jetbeam, you don't even notice it's gone. Very nice, uh, very bright, bright beam much better throw they both have a similar size lens on them uh, the heads are very close but the the olight has definitely got the edge it's a bit bigger um, not by much but but definitely it is and uh, they're both smooth reflectors neither is a orange peel or anything like that and the difference is just insane so I'm actually gonna pan to the right here where the tree line goes even further just I hadn't planned on it, but uh, with as well as this uh, Olight is showing, that is at least 300 yards or so as I scroll to the right, or pan to the right. I'm willing to bet I won't see much with the jet beam. Uh, I can see trees way down there, but it's not really illuminating them very well. Now I'll try the Olight. Oh, yeah. I can see the if there was a deer there I would see it. This thing is nuts. Very nice light. Huge difference in the throw. And these are comparable models. They're both weapon mountable. Uh, they're both 18650 battery lights. They're both flared bell uh, heads on them. You know, they've both got heat sinks. They're they both do strobe. They're very similar lights. Uh, weight, they're very, very similar to the same. They both have strike bezels. They're so close, it's ridiculous, but there's no comparison as far as the actual light itself goes. Uh, it's a huge difference. See a light? That's the jet beam. I don't even know if you guys can make out that tree line from here, but uh, you sure can if I put the O light on it huge difference all right guys just one more quick uh, comparison so this is a little shorter range um, this is just uh, in my backyard so I'm probably looking at uh, 20 yards 25 about that uh, so here's the jet beam lights it up pretty well it's definitely not a uh, not a slouch 1100 lumens Okay, and then we've got the Olight Warrior X, which is just ridiculously bright. 
Okay, so again, there's the Jetbeam 3M Pro. And the Olight Warrior X. Nice, well-defined hotspot. Lots of spill. Uh, very even after you get outside the hotspot. It's, uh, yeah, it lights it up well. Gives much better color, too. I don't know if that'll come across in the camera, but the... Uh, Jet beam has got really a dull green here. It's not very vibrant. This uh, brings out the colors that are a lot closer to daylight. Uh, you know, much richer greens and and the trees look more normal, I guess. This year, it, it's bright, but not once you compare it. Huge difference. But yeah, awesome light. It's five-year warranty on it I've not had any trouble with it it's like I said gone through about 300 rounds on the AR I don't have a flashlight mount on a shotgun otherwise I would have tested with that as well uh, they do say that these magnetic switches aren't meant for shotguns I have a feeling they think it's gonna recoil too much and make it pop off in traveling I've not had this pop off on me I've bump the gun a bit, you know, to kind of giving it a, a bit of a shake to the point that I find acceptable. I'm not going to go ahead and beat the crap out of my AR for the sake of seeing if this magnetic tail switch is going to pop off. If you are law enforcement and you're breaching with an AR and you've got this magnetic tail switch on there and you might get into a bit of a physical altercation, is it going to come off? Maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm not that guy, you know, I'm, I'm not law enforcement, I'm not military, um, I just like guns and uh, I see their uses. Uh, so I think I would probably rather have a replacement tail cap for this that actually twists on and that's what the Warrior M2R that I have coming has as an option, is an actual full replacement tail cap. Uh, that way it's never going to pop off, but it is really convenient to be able to Pop this off, snap on the charging cable, and not undo this entire mount. It's it's a really cool feature. And for my purposes, I've never had it fail on me. I've never had it pop off and, and become a nuisance. Although I would like a shorter cable, like I said. So, for your everyday guy that's uh, into this stuff, I think it's a great, great feature. It's pretty cool. Uh, I've got the light on again, and she's warming up. That heat sink works really well. There we go. But anyway, there it is. If the magnetic pressure switch ever does come off though, it's really, it's not hard to manipulate this thing. The switch is pretty intuitive. It's just click for permanent and hard press for momentary, uh, if that makes any sense to you. So uh, if that does happen to happen to you, you're not, you're not without a light by any means, um, but yeah. All in all, I haven't had any trouble with my Olights. Um, I did have one that failed on me, uh, and they were really quick to replace it with a more current model. No questions asked. Uh, you know, so I've got good confidence in, in this stuff. Got a lot of money into Olight at this point, and honestly, I think they're, uh, they're doing me well. I haven't, uh, I have other brands of lights too. I have Surefire, I have uh, ThruNight. I've got uh, Phoenix, Fenix, whatever you want to call it. I've given up on Night Core because I've broken too many of them and they just don't hold up like anything else does. Um, so unfortunately, I've, I've completely given up on, on Night Core. I'm, I'm not going back there. But overall, Olight has really performed well for me. I found it uh, worth the money. Um, they're not insanely expensive unless you get some of their monster lights, uh, which I wish I could put $400 into a light to be able to bring it to you guys for video, but I just I just don't have the, the funds for that. Hit me up on Patreon and maybe we can make that happen, but uh, not on my budget right now. So I'll bring you guys what I can. By the way, I didn't say it at the beginning of the video, but there's nothing in this AR. It is completely empty. Mag's empty. No worries of, uh, of any negligent discharges, so. All right, guys. Well, thanks for checking out the video. I really appreciate the support. Go ahead and check me out on Patreon. Um, 
any help you guys can give over there is is great uh, i pretty much purchase all my own products so uh it's uh it's a little hard uh, going at times especially with youtube's uh, monetization policies lately so uh again i appreciate any help over there you know every five dollars is is that many more rounds i can put down range on a video or an extra battery for a flashlight or whatever the case may be so um, i appreciate any help you guys can give over there also if you're looking at these olights uh, and i do recommend that you check them out they're worth every penny um, i have an affiliate link so i do receive a commission off of uh, sales off that link uh, i also have a coupon code for 10 percent off uh, if you use that link so the coupon code is just coupon 10 and i'll have that down below along with my affiliate link uh, for the olight store and uh, if you uh, want one of these bad boys or any of the other olight products uh, go ahead and check out that link um, and, and if you do purchase through there it goes to help support my channel so um, check me out on uh, again patreon facebook and i've started up an instagram account too uh, so i'll uh, i'll keep you guys updated there have a great day hey guys just wanted to do a quick uh, unboxing video um i've purchased a new uh tactical flashlight this is the olight warrior x it is uh, the brightest light I've ever had. Uh, 2000 lumens max, 560 meters throw. Got a strike bezel on it. Magnetic rechargeable tactical flashlight. Here's the specs on it. So, uh, on high is 2,000 lumens, it'll drop down to 600. Low is 300 lumens. IPX8 waterproofing. Got all the optional accessories here. Does not come with these, of course they are optional, but uh, I'm working on getting at least that one. we got here yeah there we go five-year warranty on that so let's crack it open and take a look Congrats on your new Olight Warrior X. All right. Got a little open tab here at the bottom. They've congratulated me and now they're thanking me. Good stuff. This is really nice packaging, guys. Um, I'm impressed. I have a lot of O-lights, and this is by far the most robust packaging I've seen. This is gonna be our magnetic charging cable. I've got a few of these. This one is another one that's a little slightly different. So I've got ones that say special on them for, um, the Valkyrie series, this one says MCC1A. Obviously it's one amp, I guess. What we've got here on the bottom. This is, uh, okay, so this is an option. So they obviously have a couple different uh, 
uh, what do you call them, finger, not shoil, but uh, a couple different finger rest options on it. Uh, looks like one has the pocket clip attached to it, and then this one is the option if you don't want the pocket clip attached. So that's cool. And we've got some uh, advertisement here, talking about the light, talking about the performance, and the quiet tail cap. And then we've got some advertisement for the smaller Warrior, the M2R, and the S1R Baton. So yeah, on a on a packaging overview, I'd say it's pretty uh, pretty decent. It looks uh, looks quite nice. So uh, here is the sheath. So I guess you would carry this sideways on your belt. It doesn't appear to have any horizontal or any loops for carrying it vertically. Um, I guess you could run some webbing between these two and get your belt through there if you wanted to carry it, uh, you know, cap up. But it looks to me like they, uh, they intend you to carry it uh, side on. So that's, uh, that's different. Very nice case. This thing is... Feels like it's built quite well. Uh, I don't know if that's for putting in another flashlight, a small one, or what, or a pen. It's fairly thick. It's, very, it's got a, quite a bit of room. I'll check the instructions after and see if it tells me what that's for. But there is the light itself. Got a massive lens on it. A blue strike bezel. And there's the tail cap and charging port. Nice big uh, cooling fins here on the head of the unit. And it says we are to take off a cover from the battery. There we go. So the battery goes negative side towards the head. That's uh, just something to note. Nice and smooth. Very cool. Now I will do some uh, actual um, comparisons with the beam and uh, get it going through uh, some recoil and, and test that type of thing. Um, but right now I just wanted to get a good look at it and kind of unbox it for you guys. Um, as far as functionality um, okay so there's a couple different modes here we've got configurations one and two and we can change the configurations by loosening the tail cap and pressing the button while you put the tail cap back on essentially um, I'm sure it's going to take a little figuring to get all the modes there is a strobe mode on this which I'm sure is just nuts uh, at 2000 lumens but uh, it is vibrating on me when I press the button. So I believe that uh, if, I, if I remember right, uh, the vibration is telling me that uh, the battery is low. Maybe, maybe not. I have to look that up for sure. But let's check. Uh, See if it tells me what that little pouch is for on the uh, sheath. I 
Vibrating power indicator. It helps to alert if the battery is low. So power less than 30%. Uh, vibrate once every five minutes. Less than 10%. Vibrate once every one minute. 5% six times per minute. Cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and charge this thing up and uh, probably just go ahead and do some testing with it. And I'll roll all that into this video. So I don't think I'm going to post just an unboxing video. I'm going to give a legit uh, full review on the thing, um, including a little bit of, uh, of use, right? So, um, but I did want to capture the unboxing just uh, so I had it and... Uh, I'm glad I did because the uh, the packaging is is pretty sweet. I think so. It's, uh, it's definitely a, a nice experience to unbox this thing. So I will go ahead and end this portion of the video now, and I'll pick it up again once I've got a little experience with this thing. All right. Thanks, guys.